the case. Can't get the frog without. out. There's a, oh, I don't know, probably could be pushing double figure pike just down near these lily pads right in front of us. So I've got a small little window to cast through. I don't know if I'll be able to hook up with a pike, but I'm just a little frog. So if it's guys to go past and make a cast. That weird to drift over his head. Always looking at it. Crap. So right now I'm just fishing the far bank, Tello bank, and the fog, hoping there's a pike out there. Oh, it's saying downstream, there's like that little weir oh. in the town. What is that duck thing? He's really bad at <laughs> on the danger sign. Danger, danger, high voltage. Right, um, if you can see under that willow tree, we've got a nice pike, got to be a double. Um, I'm going to try and get it on the frog, but I think my first cast is going to spook it off. I might try from the other side actually. Try from the other side of the tree and coax it out. Just remember whereabouts in the tree it is. Right, you big girl. Right, plan B, I can't coax her out. I'll have to cast from the inside. Hope I don't spook her. It's gonna be a tricky one. Is she still there? Oh yeah, she's definitely still there. Oh, oh. Go on, take it, take it. Katie, <laughs> Katie, net. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just past it here. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Woohoo. <laughs> I just go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that was Whoa, it's much bigger than I thought. It's huge. Is it really heavy? Yeah. Right. There you go. Have that fish on a frog. Just gonna get in the water to rest and get some pictures. There you go, guys. So. Just had this lovely, lovely pike on the um, the frog sent by Louis uh, Lucky Tackle Box, which is very lively. It's going to kick off, but um, yeah, this is uh, yeah, the frog is from the uh, subscription box, um, and 
was fishing it with 100 pound fluorocarbons a leader on 20 pound fluorocarbon mainline and a stiff, quite stiff action rod. I just uh, get in the net, get release video of her. I'll talk to you about what I was doing. Here's that good double um, figure pike caught on the frog. I'm just going to release it. Oh, well, she's ready to go. There we go. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I got my heart going. Whoa. Okay, yeah, guys, so I'll just run you through what I'm doing. Um, this is, I think it's a Lucky Craft frog. Um, oh, I'm terrible with remembering things from the um, Lucky Lure Box subscription um, lures. That's the frog. Um, see, I've got it rigged up on some real thick 100 pound fluorocarbon with a knot um, tied to 20 pound fluorocarbon. Just fishing it on my um, heavier bait casting setup. It's a 20 pound line goes straight through. And um, hopefully, got it on GoPro. You'll see that I've spotted the pike set up under um, uh, overhanging willow tree in the water. It was like in a half a half round shape, and the pike was sat on the inside, the bank side of the um, willow tree. So I, I, I come to the outside. The willow tree is just behind me here. Um, I come to the outside to try and. See if I could um, pull the fish out with the frog, um, like entice it out, uh, so I could get a better hook up and stuff. But Pike didn't want to come out, didn't want to play ball. So I had to get in the tree and cast inside and dropped it about three foot in front of it. A couple of twitches, she come straight over, really interested. Then looked like she wasn't going to take the frog. A few more twitches and a good pause, and then she just absolutely nailed it one real hard firm strike set the frog perfectly in the side of her mouth um, when you're frogging though you do need quite a heavy rod and it's not rec you shouldn't really be using fluorocarbon you want to use braid because of the no straps you want to really really be able to set the hook because you know you've got to squish the hollow body frog down as well as set them real thick hooks in the pike's mouth and um, it's quite hard with a weak rod. Could be of all woundage. But Jesus, my heart's going. Um, yeah, well if you wanna check um if you wanna check the lucky lure box out, I'll leave a link in the description on YouTube. Have a look at them and think what they're doing in the UK is great. Um the concept works in America really well, subscription based um box of lures you get you Pay for a subscription, they send you one every month with all these ra um, different random lures maybe you've never tried before. And um, it's a good way for people to do things they don't really use, things they don't really use that often, and catch some more fish because the key to catching fish is changing it up a lot, at least that I find. Anyway, thanks, I'll um, see you in a bit.